We're live at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi, and we're following the second Green Run hot fire test of the Space Launch System rocket's core stage. This stage we're testing today will be part of the rocket, which will soon launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on the Artemis I mission. It's the first flight of the Artemis program, which will return American astronauts to the moon and pave the way for exploration of Mars. And T-minus six minutes, starting LH-2 securing. T-minus five minutes, initiating TVC spin start. T-minus four minutes, CAPU start, starting LO-2 securing. T-minus one minute, following personnel report, go, no, go for ALS, AEA. TEA, go, AGA, go, RDA, NEA, go, NEC. Vehicle and B-2 systems are go for ALS. H-boys on. Go for engine start. H-boys are on and engine starts. It's been okay. And all personnel, we've got engine start and we're for the plus count. All personnel, please continue to monitor your system and grasp is in control. Six minutes. All right, so we're just over eight minutes into the plus count. Our personnel is coming up hopefully on a lot of depletion here, and we have a cut on. All right, REA, I can hear REA on channel 16. Oh. REA on channel. RA and Channel 16, very safe engine shutdown, please. Clearly got the uh, full duration that they were after, which is really great news, and I think you heard the applause. They had, you know, the command to shut down, which is exactly what they were really looking for. So that was really good news. After a major milestone on America's return of astronauts to the lunar surface, a successful test of the core stage of the Space Launch System rocket.